happy Jimi Hendrix oh, Day. Oh, what do you do when happy you've got Day. Jimi Hendrix-inspired HDRX amplifiers from Paul Reed Smith? Tell you what you do, you're dressed like a, uh, <laughs> like a hip-hop artist. Dressed like John Mayer did five years ago. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> anyway, it's not with welcome back. shock and everything. Yeah, welcome back to Anderson's TV. Uh, happy, it's Monday for us, but happy yeah. day for whatever it is for you. And yes, um, <clears throat> I, I, I almost feel we're <laughs> a little bit behind the curve here, Mr. Pete. Yeah. Um, so we're all obsessed with Jimi Hendrix as guitar players, aren't we? We're either obsessed because you love him or obsessed because you don't like him. But at the end of the day, he's, well, the, he's isn't he the sort of the, the, the godfather of all modern electric guitar? Yeah, maybe. I mean, maybe. Oh, there's a debate, isn't it? You stick that out there and tell ask people. You're going to get Set, people that like it. Certainly, I think if you, if you play rock guitar, I think, you, you, you know, you, you have to go yeah, back and see what Hendrix Yeah, he's the great Hendrix grandfather of, of, uh, so, of, of anyway, rock he, guitar. Lots and lots is made of Jimi Hendrix's gear. And, you know, and in reality, I guess at the time, he's probably just gone, I just need the loudest Marshall amplifier I can get. I'll have that stock Fender strut off the wall, please. Yeah, yeah. And can somebody make me a fuzz pedal or something like that? You know, it's like... And, Did he play a clung, by the way? Oh, 100%. Because yeah, if yeah. you yeah. like and subscribe, <laughs> and when, when we hit a million, you can he actually win. He had a con, a tube screamer, and a blues breaker. Yeah. They were all true bypass. And, uh, and he only used premium gold cables. Anyway. Oh, don't start that. Let's not start that. So, Paul Reed Smith, the, uh, the craziest man I know in the entire guitar industry, obsessed with making amazing guitars and amplifiers genius and, and tones. And, I mean, yes. You can he's, throw he's, in there, couldn't he you? Is, uh, and An eccentric genius. Earlier this year, they announced uh, the HTRX amplifiers, 50 and 100 watt ones, which I'm playing the 50 here. The, the basic backstory is that he and the head amp guy at Pori Smith um, got to study one of the touring amplifiers that Hendrix used, allegedly at Woodstock, um, and took mm -hmm. it apart and tried to understand it and recreate it, uh, but using you know, components that are available nowadays and to safety Certified standards that are appropriate these, these days. But, you know, could we get that sound? And it's bonkers, right? It's, it, we're, and we'll talk about non-master volume, loud, old amps from that era and just like... They're dangerous things, man. Dangerous They're and magical. And and dangerous. Magical. All that kind no of stuff. No effects loop. And then much more recently, like within the last month or so, uh, the HDRX20 came out, yeah. which as well as being a slightly more compact and lower output amplifier, also has a master volume. But so, still no effects loop. But still no effects loop, right? So it's one foot in the past, one foot in the present. Well, it's, you're bypassing the effects loop by not having it, aren't you? So you get less, that's the, you know, in my opinion. Oh, there are many know. tone junkies out there that will tell you that the effects loops are the devil for tone. Yeah. Um, and many people will disagree and carry on arguing in the comments section. Yeah, yeah. Um, relic, so anyway, relic, so that's relic. that. Cabinets wise, the, the original two that came with the 50 and the 100 watt head yeah. were uh, Celestian heavy magnet cream backs. So the 75 watt cream back loaded either in a closed back 212, that's pretty interesting. big 212 that's interesting. or a 412. I think. And then in, uh, the, the 112 cab that was released to kind of go with the um, 20, uh, although of course you could use any of these cabs with any of these heads if you wanted to, was the um, uh, Celestian V-type closed-backed 1x12. It's quite affordable. I um, say that. I probably wouldn't go using either the 50 or the 100 into a 75 watt 1x12. I think that would Maybe the that 50 be, you could potentially... Yeah. I was thinking, careful. this cab is great, man, because it's super light. These cabs are really, really light. Uh, I, would, I was thinking gold in there. You like that. So yeah. I like um, to do that. Pete is running guitar into his normal pedal board straight into the amplifier. I've elected to use uh, an attenuator with mine and I'll show you kind of why, <laughs> basically. <laughs> it's pretty loud. Because you have otherwise. no choice, basically. Yeah, I mean, this is an amp from an era where, you know, Jimi Hendrix would have gone, right, I've got to do this outdoor festival in front of half a million people at Woodstock next weekend. You know, the PA basically is non-existent. Yeah, what the guitar amp, amp is the PA. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, it doesn't happen uh, really anymore. It's a shame. So, in my opinion, it's a shame. Well, there is that. Because the, 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 yeah, I did this video over the weekend, so I won't need to say this. 118 I played at home, DBs, right? And that's loud, but it's different when you play it yourself 
when you're ready for it, when your ear's ready for it, it's a different thing. And the feeling is like, you are just in charge. There's definitely something- it. You're in charge. It's a, weird, like it's a weird interaction happens between an instrument and an amplifier and a speaker. And a, and a human it's being in much. the, yeah. Anyway, it's look. A, it's an urge instinct. So the 50 and the 100 watt are basically the same um, preamp section. One has a 100 watt power amplifier with four EL34s in it, and the other has a 50 watt power amplifier with two EL34s in it. Um, if you're familiar with those old Marshall um, 100 watt heads, you'll, you'll mm. know that they had um, a treble channel and a bass channel, and they'd have four uh, sockets on the front, and you'd see a lot of guitar players would run a little patch cable between yep. the bass and the treble yep. channel. Um, and then effectively you'd have both channels running simultaneously. Mm -hmm. I rather like what PRS have done here. It's a single input and then a separate volume control for treble and a separate volume control for bass. So you just plug so it you, in, you can just turn you it up. Yeah, you can you blend can, in however you want it. That's a good idea. We've got um, a brightness control. We've got a three band EQ with an ability to add some gain to the, the mid range or alter the gain on the mid range and a presence control. So, so it's very, the same, same on here as well, right? Same thing. Yours is identical, yeah. uh, except the 20 has a master volume and it's a slightly different valve complement in here. So you've got two uh, 5881 valves in here. 5881s, what is that? Is that a... It's, uh, I'm glad you asked me that and I'm glad I did the research just before you asking. It, it's... Um, What's the difference? It, it's a very slightly lower powered version of a 6L6 uh, GC. 6L6? Yeah. Okay. So, um, Interesting. You, they are interchangeable, so they're the same. Hello, I'm just milking mm. a cow. Oh, you're um, doing the cow thing. I uh, think you're driving. So you'll often see amps with 5881s or 6L6s because uh, um, it's the same pin base and it is oh, interchangeable, yeah. sorry. Uh, but uh, yes, yeah, so 5881s okay, in yeah. here mm -hmm. and preamp section 312AX7s. And then in the big one, you've got three ECC803Ss, uh, which again is another sort of variant of that kind of preamp tube, uh, of which there are copious amounts of debates online about why they it's all like sound Tom slightly Wood, different. It? It's Tomwood. Maybe it, it's it could like, be. It doesn't make any difference. But I think it makes it tiny amounts of difference, and then forums tell you it makes a massive amount of difference. And that's, I guess, like, subjective, right? Careful now. So, which, where should we start, here? Yeah, go for it, man. Okay. Um, now I'm using one. a very non Jimi Hendrix. Uh, he's played. He played. Here. He played everything under the sun. Come on, man. I suppose, he, suppose he Flying B would be yeah. the most similar. Well, did he? Yeah. Ever, I never saw. Did he play Les Paul? Well, I'm sure must he must have. Done. Anyway, look. So Oxbox. I'm going to. I have set the speaker volume here at number four, which is um, it's five is its loudest setting, zero is its quietest setting. So you see, I'm, I'm kind of near the louder setting than the quieter. <laughs> Well, here you go. He's well, playing there a he is. Playing a cost. Now, I've got the treble and bass volumes on here, both less than a quarter of the way up. I've got the EQ all fairly flat. Um, you can see for yourself, I guess here. Um, and even with a uh, so the, so the, with a Les Paul with a humbucking guitar, the only way to really achieve a clean sound is to start to take the um, the volume on the guitar yeah, down. Yes, so yes, it, yes, so yes, what yes. we want is a bit more headroom here, and a bit less going in here, and let's see what happens. Hendrix played those chords all the time. All the time. Yeah, yeah. All the G, time. G, C, G, you know, C and B, D B and A's. Yeah. It's never really Fender levels of like Fender Twin type clean. Although, again, with a different guitar, I yes. was getting that. Maybe we'll try a Tele or a Strat or something into it. Um, you know, if I if I boost up the volumes, and again, we're now up to, oh, I don't know, just under half. No pedals. This is all amp. Right. It's a 
intermediate. Yeah. It's like that. It's I do know that almost any attenuator that you use, as soon as you put something in the circuit, you do lose uh, treble mainly, I think, but you lose something. Uh, I mean, if I, if I go to position five, so this is still a slight reduction, but, but it's probably gonna have the least impact on the tone. Let's just see how loud this is. End good. is is so even though you've got distortion on there there's no real sense of heavy compression on the bass end oh, because beautiful. i think it's it's got so much power and ability to sort of go it's awesome um and i think that's kind of the magic and the fun of these you know when you hear of players like joe bonamassa and john mayer in sort of modern times who go for these big powerful Amplifiers, it crazy head loud. Off. Yeah, it bites your head off. You know, you it's, have to be able to. Play. It's that sensitivity that I think is that what they want. I mean, I'll get Pete to play this. I think in a minute because he's um, he's the he's going to get more out of it than me. Well, but anyway, big big sound. I haven't used any pedals. I mean, if yeah, I see you don't need to. Get, did, yeah, did, if did, I dump you know. a this is a a mild overdrive. This Where's is the, the car pedal. That's what we yeah, need. Yeah, we should have. put we'll get a while. I tell you what, so you're boosting it in now. Did yes. you boost it? So you could potentially use a booster to turn that whole thing down. That's you know, true. That's you could do the reverse do that, boost, so you, couldn't you? you have, if you've got a, a boost that goes 12 o'clock noon yeah. and then da down, that's, I've done that a few times at home if I had a la an amp that was too loud. You know no, what I'm saying? No reverb, uh, sorry, no effects loop. So if I want reverb and everything Ooh. like that, I've got to go in the front. And this is excessive reverb from the walrus, but you know. Maybe that maybe that doesn't that doesn't make let's try a bit of delay in the front end. I think you need the right reverb. I don't think that's the right reverb. Oh, I think it's too This is a crazy atmospheric over yeah, yeah, the top yeah, reverb, yeah. isn't it? I agree. A yeah. flint, to be honest with you, the flint a fl is probably flint is a probably better. better. Um I mean, I don't know, I suppose everyone's That's going, what, what does uses. it sound like? You know, so if I, if I dump the attenuator down low, we turn all this up. I don't even know, we can, we can add the mid gain in. Sorry. Just yes, so I'm, people can see. Uh, let's just see what we've got here. Ooh. Yeah, it's kind of, uh, it sort one. of takes all the magic away if you're really quiet yeah, yeah. on this. Um, I think I think I think you have to play this amp loud. That's the whole I'm point. I'm going of it. stage four. But that's the thing, you, ha you, can't, you have to, it has to be loud, man. Uh, it, I can imagine that. Off, but I mean, again, we'll try it with another guitar in a minute, but that is, it's a sound, right? And it's a sound yeah. that shaped a whole... Hey, generation. You know, yeah. yeah. Right, so look, that's that. And it's, you know, it's quite expensive. Dive on over to the Anderson's website to see whatever the latest mm -hmm. prices are on the 50 and the 100. But, you know, they're upwards of two or 3,000 quid a shot here. Uh, so it's not going to be, you know, and so I suppose the price and just the fact that it's a crazy loud amplifier is not necessarily going to be like an every person kind of guitar amp. No. But that's kind of where the 20 comes in, Yeah, exactly. In, right? It is. It uh, is. Way more with sensibly master. priced, master volume. Yeah, um, 7 dollars right? 
I mean, that's insane. That's yeah. a great. But that's a so, that's, that's the prices of the of the Marshall. Now we're looking, isn't it? Indeed, it is. So I like look, the design because it's like an H there. I really like the design. I yeah. like the fact that they're a bit taller than a regular amp head. It kind of reminds me again of old school guitar amps. But look, take us through the. Um, well, there's not much to say. This is exactly the same as yours, apart from it's got a master and it's 20 watts, isn't it? Yes. With a 112 cab and a V type in here. Yep. Well, interesting. Uh, I thought it was interesting they put cream backs in there, but I don't know why that is. Uh, yeah. So I'm playing a, a, a PRS Silver Sky. Of course. Uh, that's and, uh, what Hendrix would have played had he still that's been alive. What I, think, I think that it wouldn't have been, it would have been, it would have said H Hendrix here, wouldn't it? Could have done. I mean, I think he'd have been playing a headless, uh, we'd have, he'd have had his own. See, he would have been 80 yesterday. He, he was have, 80, yeah. right? So would he still. He would, he would, he would have had his own neural DSP um, <laughs> plug in now and he'd have been playing a, a headless. A jam stick. Yeah, mini. <laughs> a mini jam stick. Uh, and, you know, eagle eyed. There was a uh, crybaby just appeared out of nowhere. Of course. So, see, this is the thing with no reverb, isn't it? It's quite. So what, so have, what, have, you, here? what have you set your amp up? Uh, then? Let's, let's have just a go look. twelve o'clock. I mean, there was some pool settings there, wasn't there? But this is all twelve o'clock. Masters here, twelve twelve, and then let's go up with these. Is that what are these here then? Okay, so the brightness switch, the the further up it is, I think yeah. the brighter it sounds. Okay, and then the, the oh, middle yeah. one is like a mid boosty gainy. It, it ch changes the gain on that <laughs> mid control. Okay. It's got that sound. sound. That to me is. That's the clean sound that I associate that you want with. From the, yeah. yeah, so from, I, from it's Hendrix. still quite clean, but it's just a little bit more presency. Like, yeah, it's got, it's maybe got a little bit of the... hair on the end oh, of it, or the... you know, something. Salt Bay. It's salt, it's salt Bay the other way. <laughs> it's Up Bay. Uh, it I is, should, do you know what, I should just great, say, though. one of the ways that you could get an effects loop, if you really, really need your effects post preamp, yeah. is the Boss um, Tube Amp Expander that's is true. clever at doing that. Yeah, so that's, that, that, that's a slightly different kind of um, uh, attenuation mm. to the Ox, but it does give you the option to have, um, to, to have an effects loop and stuff yeah. as part of the attenuator. But that's, it's got that snap that really... That's right? though where I think the 50 and the 100 go. You take that and then you just add another level of like yeah, Mike Tyson it, to it. It'll kind of do that if you take the attenuator out of the loop. I think you'll still get that loudness clean, but it will, we'll try it. It will bite your head off at that yeah. level. So that's the problem, right? It's a bit of flint. That Flint. works really well in the front end of, of Fl valve amplifiers, Flint is good it? into... Yeah. Has to play I kind of hit, want to hear uh, what the deco sounds like into that. Amplifier. Yeah, I mean that's just this not is really everything a in twelve now. Thing. Look, so yeah. what, let's just go. Definitely up with that one, right? Mm -hmm. So that's the that's the uh, to the the high the, the highs. So that that's just making the mid range a bit more punchy, isn't it? Punch in the mid range. It is 
very snappy yeah, for a little and 112 cab as well. It's not little, little, is it? It's a sort of a it's wide bigger than bodied the master, 112. It? Yes, it's yeah. still pretty compact. I like it's it. Great. I like it. So we can take down the master and then we can smash these two up, I guess. <laughs> That's a good example oh, of where reverb in the front end is slightly harder to control. when you go from a, a very clean sound to a much more pushed preamp tone yeah you have to compensate by really turning the amount of reverb you're sending in down that's very true because um, when you hit it it's it yeah. reacts differently so if you just put the, the flint on like almost its lowest <laughs> lowest mix setting it's probably still okay but you almost you almost need two reverb settings on the pedal don't yeah, you yeah. that you can yeah. jump between but well, We've got the technology to have two reverbs. I mean, we can have six reverbs if we like. And then now we put the re yes. the, that one into the reverb, into the amp. It's too much for it, you know? I think great it's great. Amp. I think it's I mean, great. I, I almost feel like we should just stay away from all the Hendrix stuff. <laughs> but now, that's what it is, like, isn't it? Because it's you, just a good You'll never be Hendrix because he was Hendrix. Just be the best you. But well, I mean, you, this could be a great I mean. <laughs> rock amp, blues amp, yeah, whatever. I don't, I don't know about necessarily. It's probably not a metal amp as such in, in the way no. that like a 5150 might be. And the, the little Mark Tremonti is probably, if you're into PRS amplifiers and you want that more modern gain tone, yeah. you're probably better off going for something like that. But. I mean, see, I'm all the way up there now, and I think that's when you can compensate with taking that off. So you can that take, the, take that down. Crazy loud, no, actually, not. is it? I, I mean, it's, uh, it's uh, loud see. enough. Let's, let's see. Hang on. See, I like that much better. That Do volume. Do you? Yeah. No, that's know, where he was smashing up at that volume. Now, you know? I, do you know what I hear? The difference between you having the master volume, I hear all the clarity in that, that heavy E note clarity. disappears. Clarity. So where you were playing before, yeah. the, the, those big open E strings still had um, quite a clean so, uh, the ha sort of tone to it. Where, and as soon as you went to like um, two thirds of the volume up, that, yeah. that, it starts to compress but and let's sounds say you very would, different. If I put everything on full here, oh my and it's just, I'm just going to compensate with that. It does that compression that, that do yours. <laughs> they're both Sorry. they're both doing <laughs> that fuzzier that's overdrive great, than you know i think yeah, everybody, yeah, yeah. everybody that's, thinks that's of it. like a gunned marshall as like more van halen-y kind of tone fuzzy as but it's pretty flip. fuzzy isn't yeah. it yeah this Shot era marshall door. anyway or, 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 i keep we keep calling these marshalls, marshalls they're, they're obviously not. not they're inspired by yes. um and there's one particular amp right so his amp. i still want to hear with the pedal porn fuzz yes, and so also with the deco just a bit of deco 
I like Jimmy. I like watching old clips of Jimi Hendrix's face when he's out of tune and he just like smiles Which and doesn't really care and just basically roughly as tunes yeah, yeah. on the go. So there you go. So I'm using Jimi Hendrix tuning there. So uh, <laughs> so you've gone back to what kind of, kind like of that two, you... two thirds of the two thirds up on the preamps and, and then like a third, third up, up and then maybe up. a third of the way up. It's so it's so tight. It's so yeah, like, like it. immediate. Like right on the tip of your penis, bang like that. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's like, tick, like that. Do I, I don't know. Okay, I'll try it here's, later and let you know. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll do it. Just a <laughs> flick on the dick. Here's the deco. I'd that, love that deco pedal. But what come you? What? What? what <laughs> the deco you, is amazing. Can you man. do the other side of the deco as well? Yeah, sorry. Sorry. Hang on. This uh, a bit slower and deep. Slow and deep. Just as we said, like, let's not do the let's Hendrix thing Hendrix anymore. Stuff. That sounds flipping great. But any th Hendrix and is... Then, it's all of that stuff, And then the it? pedal porn. And then the pedal porn... Uh, That's it, like... can hear is this amp screaming plug the good guitar player into me <laughs> no no so that's what we're doing now i got i got to kind of hear smokies. like a difference here well it, the thing is you won't this this won't breathe till you L take this L out of the equation listen listen to the, the other thing i like as well is big loud old valve amplifiers when they when they power up <laughs> it's like um it's like watching Star an old Star horror Wars, movie where like you know they give frankenstein life or whatever like that but <laughs> li watch li or listen see if you can pick up on my lapel Probably, not, uh, but anyway, it's probably warm now. Um, when it's not warm, isn't yes. it? Yes. So, okay. Well, we'll 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 put this on its highest setting. So it's hopefully taking the least away in terms of character. Yeah, it does color a little bit. Any any generator um, will color sound a little bit. So see what you get, man. See that? It's much cleaner. There's no not, pedals still. There's no pedals. There's wow. Still these, listen to those overtones, those, those harmony. This is a thing that, <laughs> that I don't know. We used to have when, like, when I was much younger and gigging and stuff like that. Giggity. But Giggity. we used to call it trouser flapping. Trouser and flapping. Trouser yeah, flapping yeah, yeah. doesn't is really it, happen anymore, does it? But that. it's like there's so much stuff coming out of here. Yeah, I can yeah. feel my jeans flapping but like that, that. That's the inspiration that comes from. You cannot wow. get that out of anything. You just cannot get it. You know. 
I know we're waffling on here, I'm, but I'm it's just amazing. I, uh, but uh, it's. Do you remember when we did the video on Magnetone, the yes, M80s? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How yeah. loud that was and the feeling yeah. you get. You. And that's such a different amp. I would like to hear two of these amps like compared because that's such mm. a different vibe from the Marshall, but it's still a, a derived from the same kind of tone and, yeah, and yeah. background so but i really like these i think they're great okay i'll can take we just, i'll take i'll take the either can we just have <laughs> um, I'll, I'll dial the volume down a bit because it's kind of hot made that up because it's funny oh i wasn't even on the the loudest one i was just on number four. Oh, well it's Rikey. enough isn't it um that's fun that was fun that's fun i actually kind of feel i mean it there will be people out there doing you know pub club yeah, but it's, you know it's, they just need that and an attenuator and a 212 oh, or oh, they just need that and just tell everybody to shut up and go, <laughs> go away you know to <laughs> be honest just, just yeah but you right. know well look, i tell you what i don't, I don't think we'll <laughs> Uh, swap sides or whatever like that, but let's just um, we'll do a little jam out, and I'll stay on the twenty. And no, let's stay let's, on swap, the... let's swap it over. It's fine. Just just fine. I'd uh, like this. You want to do it like this? Yeah. Well, so right. that you you play out on the big one. I'll play uh, out on the small uh, one. All right then, then. Okay. Um, well, like and subscribe, please, and thank you very much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. We love you loads.